as well-known financial institutions and organizations add Bitcoin to their balance sheets, cryptocurrency is always in the news. Stable coins, which are less volatile, cryptocurrency assets have recently caught the attention of investors. Tether is the most popular stablecoin. Tether is the third biggest cryptocurrency in the world by market value. But what makes it unique and how it became so popular? Well, hello, I'm Shamli and I welcome you all to this new video of Simply Learn on what is Tether, in which I will take you through its various aspects and will also help you explore your answers for Tether. In this video, I will take you through first what is Tether, then we will explore if Tether is a stable coin. After that, we will understand why it is controversial and then we will understand how does Tether works. Then we will look into the uses followed by what makes it unique and then we will explore how to buy it. And at last, we will explore, is it a good investment? So without any further delay, let's start with the video. So let's start with what is Tether. Tether is a blockchain-based cryptocurrency that tries to keep cryptocurrency prices stable. It is utilized by crypto investors who want to avoid the high volatility of other cryptocurrencies while still maintaining value in the crypto market. Tether tokens, which were created by the crypto exchange Bitfinex and trade under the USDT sign, are the native tokens of the Tether network. USDT is the fifth largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, with a value of around $68 billion as of October 2021. So, is Tether a stablecoin? The stablecoin industry strives to eliminate volatility, allowing Bitcoin to function as a safe have rather than a dangerous investment. In a volatile cryptocurrency market, where it would be difficult to convert back and forth between cash and a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, stablecoins provide liquidity. So Tether is indeed the world's first and most well-known stablecoin. True USD. Pazo Standard and USD coin are some of the other stable coins on the market. Other stable coins on the other hand use other sorts of collateral. Some are backed by fiat currencies such as the euro or the yen, while others are backed by commodities like gold and silver. So why is it controversial? Tether originated in 2014 as real coin and the first tokens were released on the Bitcoin network in 2015. It was one of the original cryptocurrencies as well as one of the first stable coins to be successful. However, as quickly as it gained popularity, it was met with mistrust and controversy, which is understandable given how closely the coin was scrutinized as the first popular stable coin. Tether was a driving element behind Bitcoin's bull run up to $20,000 in 2017. It appeared that Tether was being artificially injected into the cryptocurrency market to provide liquidity. Also, Tether's parent form was charged by New York Attorney General Lilithia James of concealing a $850 million loss by dipping into Tether's currency reserve in 2019. Tether has reached an agreement with James to pay $85 million and stop dealing with New Yorkers as of 2021. Now, let's come and look into how Tether works. Tether Limited manages the Tether token reserves and accepts fiat deposits and withdrawals. It also mints and destroys tokens to keep the coin's value stable. So Tether on Bitcoin was created on the Omni layer, a Bitcoin blockchain based system. A ledger is kept on the Bitcoin blockchain as well as liquid, a Bitcoin sidechain and transactions may be seen via Omni Explorer. Tether on other blockchain platforms. Tether is also available on Ethereum, Tron and EOSIO among other blockchains. As a result, new assets can be developed directly on these platforms. Ethereum happens to be the largest market for USDT. Come, let's look into the uses of Tether. 
Tether has established itself as a necessary component of the cryptocurrency markets. Currently, crypto trading pairs priced in USDT and other stable coins outnumber those priced in US dollars. To be more specific, there are three most common use cases. First is trading. To reduce fees and wait periods, users can convert the cash they need for trading to USDT and then use it to buy other cryptocurrencies. Second is lending. Because lenders do not have to worry about losses due to volatility, USDT is extensively used as a lending asset. Third is cross-border payments. International money transfers from or to any area of the world can be completed in minutes. That's, that makes me wonder what makes it unique. Stable coins assist traders and investors in reducing the danger associated with the severe volatility that is typical in cryptocurrency markets. By moving value to USDT, a trader might reduce their risk of exposure to a sudden drop in the price of cryptocurrencies. Also, they enhance the number of trading pairings they can offer by facilitating crypto to crypto transfers. Furthermore, it permits merchants to trade cryptocurrency in places where fiat currency is prohibited. So, how to buy Tether? Binance, CoinSpot, Bitfinex, and Kraken are just a few of the famous cryptocurrency exchanges that accept Tether tokens. You can just exchange them with other cryptocurrency or buy them with any type of currency. So this brings us to a question, is it a good investment? Tether is the most popular stablecoin with no significant competitors. Even when compared to other cryptocurrencies, not just stablecoins, it performed admirably in terms of market capitalization. After seven years of prosperity, there are no signs of it slowing down. It is currently one of the crypto space too big to fail enterprises. However, don't expect it to appreciate in value. That is precisely the purpose. USDT is kept at $1 and the organization behind it aims to keep it there. Tether is a helpful tool, but it is not a typical investment. Well, this was all about Tether. Do tell me what are your thoughts on this popular star of crypto market. So we have almost reached the end of this video. If I missed anything important, do let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video on what is Tether and learned something new from it. If you like this video, then please do hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates and videos from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.